Hey everybody, Spoonfed here, and we're going to boot up the uh, life distro of Kane 3.0. And I already did Kane 2.0, I believe. But uh, yeah, it's this new release. So let's just find out what kind of tools are on there and, and what else is going on. Uh, there's a good chance, by the way, that, um, yeah, that's what I wanted to say, that you will hear my cat. <laughs> He's just talking to his buddy who is on the other side of the window. And he's hungry, because it's lunch time. And I should eat something too. Hmm. So, let's just first get this thing correct. Uh, is it system tool? No, no, no. System preferences. Display resolution. Um, that one. Yes, apply. Alright, thank you. Close. So, um, first of all, uh, the background, if it was HD quality, I would like it because yeah, I think it's cool. Quite like the logo. Alright, so what do we have? What, what is this? We got a bunch. Of, I like this. I love this the first time around, and I think it's still cool. I really like personalized or. or um, not personalized, but tweaked shells. What is in here? Mm -hmm. Cool, we got some iPhone backups. I'm just quickly browsing through this. It's called Juicer. It sounds pretty awesome, actually. HD Sentinel. Right, so they, they've put in uh, some stuff for mobile phones. Which we saw in Santoku is pretty big. This one only has three. So you got a backup analyzer, Blackberry tool, and ID iDevice tools, which I have no idea what that can all do. We got Wireshark and Zenmap, Mounter, Keen Interface. Um, this is, yeah, here it is. Uh, what I like is you can do a create report and you say the case name there. So just do uh, Spoonware. And I'm investigating my own case. Can you do that? Yes, you can. Now, something that's pretty awesome is uh, that's too bad they should change that. Is you can uh, just specify the image of the, the file, a name, and then you can get all of this information immediately out of it. Same goes for here. You can make, uh, like, how do you call that? Um, you can copy images and make images like here you can say well I've got a device hooked up I want to make an image of that go for it um, to be replaced by <laughs> to be replaced by a nice splash screen yeah so and we got this the standard uh, things is um, autopsy which is actually just in the stoop kit we got foremost which is a hell of a recovery tool seriously um, stack tech that's pretty cool as well you can find images which has steganographic contents god that's an awful word um, this one is new I believe I don't think I noticed from the last time but I think what you can find with this one is how files were modified or at least so yeah so insert image file and then you can see what has happened to the disk which is pretty awesome so you can see did somebody um, massively delete something on a day which is kind of suspicious of course so that's all pretty cool you, you do all this and then in the report itself you can um, just say I wanted an HTML or whatever or you want a personal report so you get um, everything I think in a words or in the words uh, setting Abby word or something 
but you can apply templates to that, of course, and stuff like that. So you can you can build pretty cool um, reports uh, with this, and of course, all the tools are in here. This one's new. Microsoft Registry Hive Editor, that's pretty cool. Mobius, ah, so that's Case Manager, okay, cool. Um, difference between two files, it's also very handy to have, of course. Um, so this is the Stack Detect Frontend HFS Browser. Is that my... Oh, Macintosh, oh, okay, sorry, yeah. oh no, this is HGFS. If you share a folder in Linux with... Um, uh, VMware it goes into MNT uh, so that slash mount as well slash HGFS so I got confused sorry so that yeah so that's for uh, browsing Macintosh disks <coughs> um, CD DVD recover that's I think a new tool as well but it's pretty cool that it put it in here because sometimes it, um, well, archaic is not the correct word, but CDs and DVDs are, at least to my knowledge, not used um, here, as in the Western countries of Europe, um, as a transportation uh, tool. It's more often than not used on USB sticks and basically small hard drives. So but this might be used still across the world where they don't have ready access to that technology because it's relatively speaking more expensive there than here so maybe uh, so this is actually a pretty good thing and I'm really thinking about making a video or a short case as it were um, on using these tools on, on, on a CD slash DVD where there is some data on it uh, which has been well cr uh, not crashed and burned but um, how do you call that broken as were um, and just show these tools but of course I have my running how to penetration test tools section still going so yeah but um, otherwise let me know in the comments if you want to see such a video of me using these tools in this distro of course to show you what the results look like because um, yeah that's that's basically it for Kane I mean there's not much here what I can show you it has Firefox so it has every word it has MDB viewer that's pretty cool yeah I was gonna say that's, that's pretty awesome um, others do not matter and you can record your desktop if you want so yeah um, that's it for Kane 3.0 and let me know if you are guys are all my subs because I already have 300 plus which I'm very grateful for wanna see such a video um, that's it for me.